right, what's up everyone? Welcome back for another video. Thanks for joining me and uh, let's get into this. If you're new to the channel, um, I have a 240SX, the RB25 swap, and I do. my wife recently bought a 190E. So uh, today we're gonna be messing with this car. My wife recently bought that car um, and we also have a truck that is probably getting traded in possibly next week. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, it's nothing too crazy, so uh, whatever. So today um, is the more maintenance on the 190 on the Mercedes-Benz. Uh, but first things first, uh, it's not usually parked outside. We just moved it out to like peel some plastic to dip off and get some better views of the taillights because we swapped the taillights. I will show you that in a minute. Um, first thing, I have to get this car out of the way. Um, it's on the jack stand, so I gotta do that, roll it out. I'm gonna put the Mercedes probably like in the center of the garage because I'm gonna attempt to do the brakes on it today. Let, let me get this out of the way. sitting on there for a couple days now. This is the original color of my car, is that red? And uh, I think whoever, one of the previous owners went to probably like Mako or something and got a really cheap, uh, shitty paint job and that's what happens. Uh, car's jacked up obviously and I'm just gonna pull the wheels off and then start disassembling to get to the rotors and whatnot. Probably gonna do the fronts first. Um, the rear, I don't remember if it was a drum style e-brake or not. Hopefully it is, so it should be a little bit easier to change. If it's not, if it's in the caliper, it's a pain in the ass. So uh, let me take these wheels off quick. Okay, so let's look. Your whole caliper setup, rotor. Uh, to get to this, first you're gonna take these bolts off. That pulls the caliper off. Well, you don't actually. I guess you don't actually have to take this off, but um, we're gonna paint this black just to stop whatever rust is happening. So, uh, 13 millimeters. Um, there's a top and a bottom to take the this like caliper part off. And then this bracket. There's 19s back here. Um, Spray this down with WD-40 if your car's as old as this one. This bracket definitely has to come off to take the rotor off. So um, 13s, 19 in the back. Then there's is this Allen key right here. Um, I think it was a five millimeter Allen key. Take that off, whole, whole rotor comes off, and then you're ready to just do the reverse of that. So uh, when you take the caliper off, don't let the caliper hang by the brake lines because uh, you could cause a leak. It's no good for the brake line. So either zip tie it up, um, find a spot to rest it. Um, on this car specifically, um, when you take this off, you should be able to rest it back here without it falling off. Um, you could always bungee cord it up somewhere. Just, you don't want to hang it. So I'm gonna take these these four bolts off. Well, five, I guess, if you count the, the rotor thing. And then, um, then I'll show you the new pads and rotors. Bracket off. Now, um, put this caliper back so it's not hanging. Now, uh, where's my little guy? This shouldn't be tight, so. Rotor. So, uh, all that stuff's off. 
I'm painting it up so it's gonna be a little while before I actually throw this stuff back on, but let me get the cali uh, let me get the rotors and pads, show you what we got. Um, I'll show you the rears too, so just get that out of the way. Be right back. All right, so we got OEM replacements for front and rear. Um, Hello, I guess it's the same company, Hello Horn. It's me. Um, front, rear, rear is a solid. Uh, my 240 was like this, and then I upgraded it, so uh, if you're interested in 240 stuff, watch my break upgrade video. Um, fronts, so uh, pretty simple, pretty standard. Uh, painting, out, painting the brackets for the front, so gotta let those dry for a couple minutes before we slap them back in, so uh, I'll be right back. And we're back. So we're going back with everything. You're gonna take your, your rotors, uh, get some brake cleaner, spray them down. I mean, these don't look, these don't seem too bad, but uh, a lot of them usually have like an oil from like the whole machining, I guess like an anti-rust oil. Uh, spray it down with brake clean, uh, wipe that. Then your caliper, you might need something like a channel lock to compress the caliper back in because your old pads, these aren't even that bad, but the, those are your old pads and then the new pads to see the thickness difference. So you're gonna have to compress the, the caliper back in to fit these. And as also, and also as like an added little measure, I guess for like next time, even though I probably won't have to do this for a very long time again, um, put in a little bit of anti-seize on the bolts that hold that bracket on. And then if anything, you could always check them every once in a while if you don't feel comfortable with that, but the other ones seemed like they were gonna snap off when I was removing them. So it's up to you if you wanna do that one. So on to the rears. If you were able to do the front, you could definitely do the rear because the rear is literally two 17 millimeter bolts to come out. And then you have this uh, Allen key guy. Uh, once again, just like the front, um, it comes off, swap it out, put it back in. Uh, just make sure your e-brake's off. So if your e-brake's on, obviously it's gonna be holding this tight. So e-brake off, should slide right out. I didn't want to come off. So I'm actually gonna wind up putting this uh, brake caliper back on and then we're gonna change the pads with it on because it makes it a little easier because uh, well, I'll show you in a minute. So let me throw this back on. All right, so I changed the angle for you. Uh, the rear caliper is kind of like, um, if anyone's familiar with like a Brembo style brake, uh, you have these pins that hold the pad in. Uh, so the pad sits in the caliper and then the pin comes through 
and goes through these holes and holds it in place. So you gotta bang these out. Gotta find like a something small. I have a small hammer that I'm that I've been using, so I'm gonna use that to um, tappy tap tap. Um, and then a screwdriver, pry it out, pull the pads out. Then you're gonna have to compress the caliper again and put the new ones in. Not too bad. Just uh, old car like this, everything's a little roughy, so it's a little more difficult. Um, Brembo does have like a like this wire that goes through to make sure these uh, these pins stay in place, but this doesn't have it, so something to keep in mind. So, uh, brake job complete. <laughs> brake job complete. Uh, fronts, rears, uh, fronts were a little bit more difficult than the rears, but it's very easy if you could grasp how to do this. Um, you can basically do any brake job. Um, the, when it starts getting harder is when the e-brake is part of the uh, rear caliper assembly, then you have to get like a tool and like twist it and compress it at the same time. It's very annoying, but it can be done. I have done it with just random tools that I have in the garage because I don't even have that special tool for it because how often do you do a brake job like that? I mean, you could probably rent them from Pep Boys or something like that if you're uh, doing a, a brake up, uh, if you're replacing your brakes on a setup like that. But only thing you gotta do now is just go for a drive, bed your pads in, Usually like you drive like 40 miles an hour or something, slam the brakes, bring yourself down to like zero or like one mile an hour. Uh, some companies tell you don't even come to a complete stop and just keep rolling. So uh, check whatever, what the manufacturer recommends for your brake setup. So uh, thank you guys for joining me on this uh, should be quick video. Uh, brake job upgrade, brake upgrade, uh, the 240 right back there. It's kind of blown out right now. I uh, did a, a brake upgrade on that, but I did a lot of I did some painting on the cal on the calipers. Let me go show you quick, actually. So, um, pads, rotors, um, bracket for the caliper, rear, um, Z32 upgrade. Um, if you want to check out any of the videos for that, I have a playlist for that brake upgrade. Go check that out over here. Um, thanks for joining me. If you enjoy the uh, Mercedes-Benz content, 90s Mercedes-Benz, 190E, W201, or even the S14, 240 back there. Um, we are getting a new truck also, nothing special, but uh, I will have a video on that. Uh, subscribe to see what comes, uh, leave some comments if you have any questions or, or whatnot, and like the video and hit that little bell thing. I'll see you in the next one, and see you later. Oh, one last thing. Did uh little mod to this car and we never filmed it because it was like two seconds it's like two seconds to do a um, couple bolts just replacing if you can't figure that out maybe don't whatever new taillights once again subscribe more stuff coming for the car more stuff coming for the other one I'll see you on the next one